first word that comes to mind is uh, unprecedented. Following the Second World War, the displaced uh, person situation in Europe was 40 million, and we are currently conservatively at 65 million people. And we have no large-scale solutions yet. What is required now is for us to look at this issue square in the face boldly and say, how do we co-create alongside those who are displaced a new future that is better for all of us? So what we have endeavored to do in partnership with both NGOs and displaced people themselves is to nuance this message so that although in this simulation it's a singular narrative, it's one journey that people go through, that there are universal truths, sufferings, pains and opportunities faced by many, many refugees that can be represented even within this one simple story. What you find is a facelessness, a namelessness. You have lost your identity. You've become merely one of the many displaced. You become a refugee. I lost my identity. I felt that I became a number and I lost a lot of my humanity. And, and it was a very difficult experience because so much of our personal world, uh, worth and power is about who we are and where we feel we belong and where we have status. And this simulation took all of that away from me. We've had a, a, an incredible response from people going through the simulation. Um, many of them are reacting very personally because it is the closest for many of them, even though it is a simulation, it is the closest they've come to the experience of what is going on on the ground. And they do take away from that half an hour, 45 minutes in the simulation. They take away something very personal. It's critically important to bridge the gaps between the private sector, the public sector, civil society organizations, all of whom are tackling certain aspects of the crisis. MasterCard, whose engagement with issues like this stems in a way not from self-aggrandizement but rather from a deep genuine compassion that as an organization they have a responsibility exploring how we can further assist those who are in need those who are displaced those who are suffering post disasters and it is this kind of partnership that i think will be characteristic of what best practice looks like for a changed world